We skip to life and dangle Turn car wheels across the floor I was feeling kind of seasick Hey, it's Nate with another piano tutorial. Today I'm doing the classic A Whiter Shade of Pale by Procol Harum. This one was a request and it has this really elegant chord progression that is just so satisfying to play. And at the end, I'll even show you that organ melody if you feel like tackling that as well. Let's jump in. All right, so first off, I recommend you get the chords and lyrics chart. I put a link down in the description that'll help you follow along and see where the chords line up with the words. Now, this song is in the key of C major, so all white keys, and this is middle C for reference. And there are three sections to this song. There's the intro slash interlude. Those are the sections that have the organ solo. There's the verses, and then there's the choruses. And the chord progression is basically the same for all three of those sections. There's just gonna be a little bit of variation in the final measures of each section. So we'll start off with the intro. Here's the first line of that progression. Now, I want to look at the left hand bass notes first. So we're just going to be playing single bass notes in the left hand, either the note that the chord is named after, in the case of C there, or um, on the note that comes after the slash. So in the case of E minor slash B, we're going to play a B there. And if you just look at all of those notes, you'll notice that across these four measures, all we're doing is stepping down from C to B to A to G, I think you get the idea, to F to E to D to C. So we're just traveling down basically a C major scale from bass C to this C an octave lower. We don't have eight fingers. So to do this, I am going to do it like I would a C major scale where after the third finger, I'm just gonna cross my thumb under and then from there I can reach the rest of the notes. Now, I think that makes sense and it's good to just pick a way to do it and try to stick with it. But um, if you need to fudge it a little sometimes, doesn't make too much of a difference. So let's add the right hand in here. So for this C chord, we're gonna be doing an inversion on a C major chord. We got G, C, and E. Then when we step down to the B in the left hand, the only note that needs to change in the right hand is this C is gonna go to a B. So we have two C's stepping down to B's and then the, these outside notes stay the same. So C, E minor over B. Now when we step to the A here, we're gonna keep doing this E here, and we're just gonna kinda of collapse the hand into a root position A minor chord, A, C, and E. And then we're going to step down to the G here, and all we're gonna do with the right hand is step the thumb down to the G, and that's gonna be this C over G chord. Notice that's the same C chord we started with, we're just doing a G bass note now. And most of the chord changes in this song are like this, just one or two notes change. It's really fluid. By the way, we're in four, four times. So each of these measures are getting four counts and each of these measures have two of the chords in them. So each chord gets two counts. And I'm just gonna be playing quarter note chords in my right hand. So just playing on every count. So, so far we've got C, two, E minor over B, two, A minor, two, C over G, Two. Okay, so that was where I said I was going to cross my thumb under. I will try to remember that. Uh, let's keep going. So now we're going to, of course, step down to this F here. And we're going to do an F like this. So that's going to be A, C, and F. I'm going to use one, two, and five for my fingers there. Just a little move here where both of these Fs step down. So we've got another A minor in the right hand, this time with an E bass note. I'm using one, two, and four here this time, uh, just because it flows better. Okay, two more chords here. D minor, so we stepped down to D and then did A, D, and F. Okay, and then finally, we're gonna step down to C here. And then our second finger goes to this uh, C here. So this is the same F chord we did in the previous measure. We just have the C bass note now. One more time on this line. I'm taking it slow because this is the main progression that you're gonna need for the rest of the song. Once you got this, we're in really good shape. So C, two, E minor over B, two. Collapse to that A minor, cross them under, C over G, two. Now up to this F shape here, A minor over E, 
D minor, and just step those Ds down to Cs. Okay, so here is the second line. Um, and it's going to follow a lot of the same ideas here. Um, so we've just landed on C here at the end of that first line. Then our thumb is going to come up to a G. And we're going to do a G inversion in the right hand like this, just like the F we were doing, but just a step higher. So B, D, and G. So we've got G, 2, and then G over F. So we actually don't have to change anything in the right hand here. Now we're going to step down to an E in the left hand here. Um, and the only note we're going to change in the right hand is just the middle note is going to come up to an E, 2. And then uh, stepping down to D here, right back to that same G shape. Um, let me do those two measures again. So notice uh, after we kind of come back up on the G here, we're just stepping down again. And we're going to go all the way down to D. So we've got G2, G over F2, E minor 2, G over D2. Okay, almost done here. Two more measures. We could step down to the C here, but just in anticipation of what comes next, I'm going to just hop my left hand back up to the higher C. And we're going to do C just like we've done it. Pinky's going to hit F here. F just like we've done it. Step up to G just like we've done it. Uh, and then we've got F over A. So the right hand kind of moves down back to the F, but the left hand steps up to the A. And then you step that up again for the G over B. So B here and then the same G shape. Um, this is the only measure where the rhythm is a little different or the pacing. We've got uh, two counts of G. That's why I put that little dash there. So G, two, and then on beat three of that measure, we've got the F over A and then on beat four, the G over B. So one more time on that whole second line. G, two, F, two, E minor, two, G over D, two, C, two, F, two, G, two. So you can feel it that F over A, G over B is really leading us in to the first verse. We skip the life and dango. So let's look at that verse. I know we're going to skip over that organ solo for now because I think that's really optional and I don't want to get bogged down in it right now. And by the way, I'm going to be using the sustain pedal throughout this. So just holding it down so that everything sounds really lush and ringing together. But you do have to do a little lift every time the bass note changes. Lift, two, lift, two, like that. So here's the chord progression for the verse. Now you'll notice the first line is the same as what we did for the intro. The second line is just the first two measures of the second line we did in the intro. And then there's a repeat sign because it does those two lines, those six measures twice in a row. And then we have a third line, which, well, we'll get to it. So you already know how to do this. Um, so with the words, it's going to be, we skip the life and dango. Turn car wheels across the floor. I was feeling kind of seasick. So here's where it repeats. It just goes right back to that first line. But the crowd called out for more. So it's going to go through all that again. Same thing, just different words. You're going to get down to that D again for that G over D. And then once again, we're going to come back up to the C. This is where the vocals go, go high. It's a little high for me. That's going to be the... When we called out for another drink. So just like before, to the F, to the A minor, the waiter brought his tray. Stepping out to D minor like before, but that is where the similarity ends. And then we have this G7. So I'm going to move my hand uh, to put my fourth finger on the G bass note there, because that's going to help us lead back into the C to start the, the chorus. For the G7 chord, you can just do a B, a D, and an F there. So again, the final two measures of that verse. The 
waiter brought a tray And so it was And that on was, that's the chorus starting. Um, there's a couple extra details that I can go into um, that are worth talking about. Let's kind of work backwards. So on that, and so it was, on that G7, um, on and so it was, just on the words, and so it, you can just step up uh, the bass notes from G, A, B. It sounds really cool there. You can even kind of drag the tempo out a little bit, just really milk the moment. And so it was. That's the chorus starting. There's a couple other sort of bass walk-up stuff that you can do. And you can do this in the intro as well. So like if we look back at the first two lines uh, of the verse. So going from the third measure, the F. Turn car wheels cross the floor. So when you go from the F over C, which is the end of the first line, leading into the G at the beginning of the second line, you can... You need to be thinking in eighth notes for that. So we're not just counting one, two, three, four. We're dividing the beat in half, thinking one and two and three and four. And in the time in there is just three and four and one, two and three. Um, and I'll throw that in maybe some of the time. Uh, finally, now that we're thinking in eighth notes, we can do a little bit more rhythm in the left hand. Again, this is totally optional, but the bass on the recording is kind of doing this rhythm like one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four. So I'm probably gonna do that with the bass line throughout. All right, so let's do that chorus. Here is the chord progression of the chorus. Should look a little bit familiar. So it starts out on that C. And like I said, the, the word that it starts on is was. It's a little weird to delineate chorus and verse um, in the middle of a sentence, but it's just the way that sort of the measures work out and how the chorus starts. So the, the um, verse ends with, and so it, chorus starts with was, and we already know this, that later. So to the F. As the miller told his tale. See, and you can do the same walk up in the chorus that we just talked about in the verse. Ah, uh, tail, or tail. So F over C, stepping up to G2. That a face at first just go slay, same as you already know. But here's where it gets a little different. We're gonna go to C. Same way we've been doing it, C, two, F, two. Same F we've been doing, back to C, two, to G7. And that's gonna be, turn to wider, shade of pale. And then that would go right in to another interlude with the, uh, the organ solo happens there. Um, then we've got another verse, and it's just the same as the first verse, just different words, into another chorus. Um, and I am probably going to end my version after that second chorus, uh, because after the second chorus, it just goes into another interlude into a final chorus, but it just starts fading out, which is hard to do when it's just you and piano. So I'm just going to kind of end after that uh, second chorus. Um, the chorus ends on a G7, though, which is kind of uh, not a good place to end. It feels like something needs to happen. So after that final, wider shade of pale, probably just end on a C. So it sounds final, maybe throw in the low octaves there. Um, but before uh, we wrap up and I do a full cover of it, let's talk about that organ solo. That's the part that's gonna sound like So um, here is the first line of it, and uh, underneath I have the chord progression, so you can kind of see how the measures are falling, and then uh, the notes up top are just the, the right hand notes. So it starts on an E. This is the E above middle C. I'm going to do it with my fourth finger. That's going to allow me to get where I need to go. Um, 
So we've got the E, it holds that for a while. We can get into the exact timing in a sec. But then we've got D, C, B, C, D, E, C. So mostly just stepping down from E, stepping down to B, and then back up to E, down to C. Um, and I'm actually gonna put my thumb on that last C there to help me get all the way up to this high A with my third finger because that allows me to go B, C, then these notes are fast, F, E, F. Um, let's stick on just that much for a sec. I'm gonna add the left hand bass notes. I wish I had three hands so I could do the chords, bass notes, and right hand, or organ solo at the same time, but so the timing here, we've got E, two, step down to B, two, a and two and and then the C and the G connect here. D E C. So now this is the next measure starting. Left hand's gonna step to F as we go all the way up to A two. Step down to E and then B C. Time there is like A two three four and. And then the F, E, F happens quickly, like on 16th notes. One, E, and when we hit the D, da, da, da. If this is uh, too tricky, um, you can totally skip it. You can also slow down uh, my playing by going to 50% um, using the settings wheel there on YouTube. And then, so we step down to C there. Right at the end of this line, we have... D, and then we're gonna jump up higher. So here is the second line of this solo. Um, let's do just the right hand first. So after this the D at the end of the first line, we're gonna leap all the way up to B. Once again, we're gonna kind of jump up to our third finger. C, D, G, F, G. And that is gonna be rhythmically similar to the F, E, F from the line before. G, F, G. Um, Tricky moment here because after you hit that second G we do want our fifth finger there So you can just kind of have your fifth finger take over it that allows your hand to be where it needs to be for F E F E D C now here is where it gets a little bit more complicated You hold that C that's what these dashes have been showing all along. It's notes that hold out we got a, so that's gonna be the top note, but you're still holding that C. And then while you hold that A, we've got D, E, F. Now you're gonna do something kind of similar here. You're just gonna step that shape down and do B and G together. And then the lower notes are gonna step up. So you just did B, C, D, E. Um, let's just do the A and G moment again. So A, D, E, F. G and B, C, D, E. Now, F and A together. That's what this last part is gonna sound like. We've got A holds while the top does F, E. And now B holds while the top does F, D. And then we would kind of land in the next chord. I'm gonna do that whole line again with the left hand bass note. So this is where the left hand is going back up to G. So we've got B, two, step down to F, C, D, G, F, G. So that's where we do the E in the left hand. And it's also where we want to get our fifth finger there on that G. And then stepping down to the D, F, E, F. So this is where we're gonna, instead of stepping down to C here, we can jump our left hand back up to the high C for these last couple measures. So C, E, D, C. Hold that C and then A and F are gonna hit together. A, D, E, F. Now when the left hand goes to G, the G and B and the right hit together. And then C, D, E. Almost done here. Uh, da, 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 da. So we've got F and A with the left hand doing A, E, and then F and B with the left hand on B, D, then landing on a C chord. 
Okay, I'm gonna just slowly play through that whole organ solo one more time with those left hand bass notes. Oh, and I forgot to mention, you can do a little bit of the kind of grace notes if you want, like you can start off with, I might do that. So here we go. So that would be the verse starting. All right, cool. Thank you for sticking with me. I am now going to do a full playthrough so you can see how all these different parts fit together. And I'm gonna do the organ melody as an overdub, but if you wanna include it in your version and you don't have three hands, you can have the left hand do either the bass notes or the chords. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Uh, click the bell so you know when I put out more videos like this. And like I said, this one was a request, so if there's any song you're dying to learn, you can leave a request down in the comments. Okay. Here is my version of A Whiter Shade of Pale.
as the middle told his tale. Let her face it first, just go sleep. Turned whiter, shade of 